Hello, in this video we are going to look at options available to you in the table and help menu items in Google Slide. So let's get started with table. I'm simply going to click on table, insert table, and then I can drag out um, the size, the dimensions of my particular table. So I'm going to make it three columns and two rows to start with. Now this can all be edited after it's been put on the page. I can highlight one or more cell. Notice if I click on one cell, there's a, a drop-down menu in the corner of that cell. But if I take an entire row, there's only one. And this will now apply to all three. And what I can do with that drop-down is to set borders. Now, since I want borders for the entire table, I'm going to select everything in there. Simply click the All Borders. And now my table looks like this. Now. The color is a little light, so once the table is selected, I can um, I can come in and I can change the line color through my normal tools. I can even change the line thickness a little bit to make it stand out. Any of these tools will work. Some of them I can make it dotted. Some of the some of them will make less sense than others, but the basic tool functions will work as will the fill. So if I highlight these three. Now I can take my header row and shade it in a little bit. Now that's different than in Google Docs. In Google Docs, if you were to put a table on the page, you would be using the right-click and table properties option to do things like setting background colors. So there's a little bit of difference between tables between the two, um, two applications, just so you're aware. Now, once your table is on your page, of course, you can simply type in it. Um, I'll just copy and paste that a little bit. And again, all those regular features work. So my alignment feature would work here. If for some reason my row was taller, I could use that alignment feature to... Oh, missed it a little bit. There it is. To put those things in the center as well. Okay, if I decide that I need an additional column or an additional row, that's easy. I'm going to click somewhere in the cell. So if I, let me put some content in there. If I want a row between these two, I can click on the upper one. And now you can see I can insert a row above or below. So I have to be aware of where I'm selected. Since I'm selected here, if I put a row below, Notice it picks up the formatting of the column we were in, or of the cell we were in, the row, etc., when we did the insertion. So since that's not really what I want, perhaps I'll click down here, and I'll insert a row above. That makes the difference, because now I, I don't have that shading. So you have row above, row below, column to the left, column to the right. So I would want to be in this end column if I wanted to do a column four. And then I could um, insert a column to the right. And notice the formatting is picked up pretty easily, so that's nice. Um, let's say for some reason I don't need column two. I can click anywhere in column two, table, and delete a column. I've got one, three, and four. I'd have to resize it if I want to use that space. So you see I can delete a row, I can delete a column. I can also distribute rows or columns. So let's say that these are unequal. I can just select the entire row. I can do the entire table or just one row of it. And when I go to table, I'm going to say distribute columns, and it will even those out for me. I can also use that feature for distributing rows. And I can also merge cells here. So if these two had shared data for some reason, I could do that. Now once you've merged cells, if you're in a merged cell, you'll have the option to unmerge them and that will put them back the way they were. And 
the table tool is really a simple, simple thing. I mean, you can insert rows or columns, you can delete rows or columns, you can distribute them equally, either rows or columns, merge or un merge cells, and that's the extent of it. It's great um, to use to present actual data. So if I had something like weather information or any other kind of data, test information, etc., uh, it would be appropriate to put that into a table.